Hi, some of you may have heard that Lismore um, has just had the biggest flood in recorded history. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy out there. It's hit, it's, the devastation is really widespread. Anyway, the, um, I wanted to let you know that the off-grid shop has also been inundated with water. I'm about to show you that. And our studio's gone. And yes, <laughs> we've still got our humour, which is good. And we've got, you know, days and days and weeks of clean up ahead, as the whole town does, or well, the region does actually. Um, but yeah, so let me take you around and show you. So, well, yeah, let's see if you can see outside. Can you see across there in the distance? There's a bus got washed away and all over there. I mean, really, you've got, to, you, you've got to be here to believe it. This morning I was driving along and there was a bloated dead cow on the pavement, people just walking around it. It's, it really feels like a, a war zone, except for everybody's cleaning up rather than fighting each other. So yeah, we've done, a, we've done you know, a bit of a clean up. This was all high with mud here. Um, but this is, this is what's left after the flood of the off-grid shop. The water came up to, well, you can see, well, where was it? What level did it come up to? Kind of came up to, well, probably where that racking is. That's how high it was. We've been finding lots of frogs and snakes in the mud. Um, there's no light, there's no electricity. So, yeah, we're still still deep, deep in, I guess. It's not really, this, this, was, our, this was our kitchen meeting area. This is, um, this is our studio where we used to, um, Mike did all his filming. We had to take the door off so we can get the mud out. Pretty crazy. You can see all the walls are starting to bow from the water so we're going to have to take those out. Haven't even got into, oh yeah, look, there's Mike's desk. Wizard at work. Bit of a bit of a muddy keyboard there. Looks like he's been off-road motorbiking. Well, he, he was out there cleaning up his motorbikes because they got caught. That car there, I don't know whose that is. That was in the flood. It's completely. You want to have a look? It's pretty crazy. You can see all of the debris on the fence over there. Yeah, look at it here. Got caught in the flood. People, a lot of people drove their vehicles. I mean, the flood's not meant. To, water's not meant to come up here when it floods. So lots of people drove their vehicles and forklifts and blah 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 up high, even onto the bridges, and everything went under. It's like it is like a battlefield out there. Yeah, we haven't even got in here yet. This is the off-grid shop. Yep, everything was just floating around. I'd love to make videos at some point, but don't have that here. It's all a little bit overwhelming. Um, yeah, and Aiden and Nathan, both their houses went underwater. I saw Aiden's place this morning. It's pretty intense. It's more than intense, but anyway, there's Mike. That's for the off grid shop videos. How you doing, guys? <laughs> so, um, fun. Come give us a hand. Yeah, come, come, come give us a hand. Look, we haven't lost our humour. We've got the, um... Wet for safety first. Safety first. Elk is under the safety first. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we will, we will be back up and running because we love what we do. But, um, yeah, videos might be a bit thin and few and far between for the next couple of weeks while we're... Deep in mudland.